Hi friends, this is Vitrivial. This tutorial I will teach uh, how to export data grid view data to Excel. So data grid view, grid view to Excel. So first what we do, I will add one data grid view. So I am taking enable editing, enable editing, enable adding. So just I am expand the data grid view. Okay. I will add some data here, columns here. So add column one. And column one, I am typing the column text is ID add and name and age and mobile and address uh, what we email so I added five columns here so ID name age mobile and email and click OK so I getting the five columns here ok uh, what I am to the weaving purpose I am just editing column and go to the name and I am setting the uh, auto size mode into fill the name only is fill so you will see uh, now name only it will be expand so by program it will add some data here so double click the form load here here I am typing int n equal to data grid view on dot rows dot add or else no need int n here just remove the n here I am typing data grid view so just I am changing the viewing size to 150 so you will see the big screen right now so dot uh, rows 0 dot cells 0 dot value equal to id right so I am check 1 So just I am copying the values, control C and control V, control V, control V, control V. So, so here I am changing 1, 2, 3, 4, here main 12, so uh, I am uh, writing the some values meanwhile the time consumption I will stop the record so you have to see right now uh, I had it manually some values this is row 0 and cell 0 1 2 3 and same as row 1 and uh, cell 0 1 2 3 and row 2 and cell row so you have to see it so so I had heard the ID 1 and 2 and 3 simultaneously so now I am trying to run the programs execute the program so I am getting the values ID 1, 2, 3, 4 and name Vetri, Raja, Usain and John age 26 I didn't change those fields so I have the 5 columns and 4 rows right now ok okay and now i am trying to export the, the particular data grid view into excel okay so what i am do i am go to the designer view in designer view i need to add some buttons here so some not some button one button only so i am changing the button names into export export to excel right okay now i am just double click the button here i am trying to uh, run the programs uh, so okay uh, so first uh, first first of all i am what i know i need to add uh, save dialog here so go to the dialog box and save dialog you have to click the in dialog uh, dialogs 
uh, and uh, in dialog you have to save dialog now here i am writing uh, here i am uh, writing what i am do i am just uh, copy those previous code and here i am pasting probably so save dialog one dot initial directory initial directory means what so uh, default by default save dialog it will trigger to c drive uh, and save dialog title title is save as excel file and uh, the file name is uh, blank i need a uh, blank that's why i am uh, single code double code uh, double code here and filter it will be directly filtered uh, 2003 dot Excel files 2003. This is a heading. In default, it will be filter in dot xlx. Uh, star means uh, star means uh, what I am doing. This is a dot excel file and this is a 2007 format dot xlx. So it will be saved two type of format. One is xlx and and also it saved as a dot xlx is a 2007 format. Uh, what I am doing? Just I am run the project here. So I am click here. It nothing will show because I didn't call the save dialog here. So now I am trying to call the save dialog. So here. I will copy the code here and sorry copy the code here and I am trying to paste it ok control V so what the meaning of it so save dialog save dialog dot show dialog is not equal to uh, result dot cancel once means you put the cancel it will be cancel like that ok just I am running the project now I am clicking so the save dialog will be uh, coming this is the uh, save dialog uh, title you have to see title is save as excel file right so you have to see save as excel file you have to save it uh, and here two format is excel file 2003 and 2007 you have to see 2003 and 2007 so i formatted those values it will automatically save two types format here so this is a file name it will be empty so that's why i am giving the file name is empty that's why it's uh, showing the empty uh, okay uh, now now i am what i am do okay i am going to be code here this is my previous project so i am uh, explaining purpose i am copying those copying these two lines here so and now i am trying to paste it here so because the program is still running so i am stopping the program and enter and control v so here microsoft app is intro.excel.applications plus and excel apps though is showing some error here so i will explain those here before that you need a microsoft office interrupt.excel you have to add some reference here then only it's work so here properties and right click here i am already added the microsoft office interrupt excel so what the purpose means just right click add a reference go to the dot components and searching the microsoft microsoft here yeah, microsoft obvious excel entered and click ok then only it will work ok the applications uh, is showing the error here so once you run the project it will, won't show the error uh, ok so what i do any regular extra expressions text dot regular expression just i am copying those text dot regular expressions uh, namespace and i am trying to paste the that namespace here control v and enter okay okay and now once you run the project you know it will won't show the error okay show the error microsoft interval cannot be embedded the application interface so now the now you have once run a uh, run a project is the one show the error so microsoft obvious dot interrupt dot excel applications dot excel app equal to new microsoft obvious interrupt dot excel apps okay so here excel app dot application workbook dot add type is missing okay change the properties of the workbook workbook so the default workbooks columns i need to change the workbook columns because workbook column means i have go to the file 
Microsoft Office where it is Microsoft Office and uh, Excel. <coughs> so you open the column by default it will be size will be 10 so I need to change the uh, size uh, column size into 20 20 have to see the 20 20 means this is the column size of the 20 so I am need to change the column size here using using that uh, uh, excel app that column start column with equal to 20 so okay now 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 I am storing the header value header value here so and go to the project and test the header value so what is the header storing the part of the header value is a data grid view one so okay data grid view int i initialization i equal to one and increment operator comparison operator uh, using the comparison operator and data grid view one dot columns dot count plus one count plus one why i am putting the count plus one so it the loop will be what but because the columns so i plus plus one so here excel here and changing two to one so header text will be comes here so i think is right now i am storing the each row and columns value of the excel so just i'm copy this code here and uh, and paste it so once row will be uh, added after that the column values data of content will be loaded one by one so first it will be row count uh, it will be how many rows the first row will be the rows the data grid view rows i will explain it uh, go to the this is the first row first loop it will be first row and uh, inside here another loop it will be loop to uh, columns one by one first row first loop and one by one so five times so and uh, is once five times is completed it will be go to second row uh, again five times the loop will be executed okay now i'm show the content here so i think uh, is right so excel cell dot i plus o2 equal to plus j plus one equal to okay you have to see it okay the time being I am shortly ex uh, explanations and copy so here I am just simple simple method this is so excel app that active workbook so active workbook what active workbook means so go to excel excel microsoft excel so this sheet one is the active workbook okay so it will be storing into save copy as active workbook is a file name uh, comes from the file name here file name i am entering the file name that file name is stored into save workbook and the active workbook saved is true and the excel app will be quite okay i think is done is a short and sweet program so i am done the program now i am just click here so it will promote and put the cancel it won't work okay once again and promote i need a excel 7 format 2007 format i need here uh, this is a c drive by default it will be triggered into c drive so i am just i need a uh, workbook is sample I no need to put the extension because I'm cho choosing the 2007 format. It will automatically uh, get the extension here. So I need to save the Excel file into desktop. So I'm selecting the desktop and click save. Though I think is successfully exported right now. So just I'm stopping the program and I'm going to the desktop here. The sample workbook will be always successfully created and. Uh, click this is the header so this is the size is 20 have to see with see have to see with is 20 have to see the before the cursor with is 20 so every every row will be uh, 20 size and this is the header uh, this is the first row and this is four columns five uh, sorry five columns so he will uh, successfully export the data okay guys we will meet our next tutorial and good video